Park Industries web video, Creating a Style in AlphaCam. The objective of this course is to create a style from a cut path and change the order of operations within a style. Machining styles can be made up of one or more cut paths. The style can then be used over and over to accomplish the same task. Before we start, you'll need to be able to manually create a cut in AlphaCam by setting the tool directions, selecting the tool, and cutting the shape, including setting all the cut parameters properly. You'll also have to have the Project Manager window open with two tabs available, the Operations and Machining Styles. We'll make two styles in this video. First, we'll make a wall scribe, which uses one cut path, and then we'll make a seam, which uses two. The first style that we'll create will be a wall scribe. To do so, we'll need some simple geometry to cut. For this example, I'll just draw a simple line. As mentioned in the prerequisites, that you'll need to know how to set your own tool directions. You'll need to know how to insert the tool, the proper tool. For this example, I'm going to use Z-wheel number one. And you'll also need to know how to properly set up all the parameters to cut the shape properly. Once we have a cut path, we'll need to have our project manager windows open. I have none open on the left side of my screen, so I'm going to open them by going to view, show project manager, and the two that we need open are operations and also machining styles. At this point in time, we have no machining styles. We're going to create our first one. To do so, I'll make my operations visible. I'll be able to see that I have one cut path applied. I'll select it. When I select it, we'll see that the, this cut path is highlighted. I'm going to take and convert that into a style by coming back to my operations window. I'm going to right click so I get a pop-up menu, which gives me a chance or a choice to choose save as a new style. I can save these styles wherever I wish. The default folder is the C drive, Alpha Cam, Lycom Dur, and styles. I can give this style any name I wish. As we mentioned before, that we are going to call this first style a wall scribe. And I'll hit save. Now that style is in my project manager folder called styles where we saved it. If I go to expand that folder or open the folder, I'll see the contents of it now contain a style called wall scribe. For the next example, we're going to make a seam style which contains two cut paths. So to start, I'm going to clear off my wall scribe cut path by highlighting it and choosing delete. I'll use the same piece of geometry. So again, I have to apply a proper cut. This time I'm going to add in a stock to be left, a small value, so we get a roughing pass with Z wheel number one. And I'm going to come back with my Z wheel number two to cut it to finish size. Again, cut shape. I'm going to cut the same piece of geometry to finish size. So I have two separate cut paths. As you can see, they're a little bit away from each other. One is a roughing tool path, the other is a finishing tool path. So the first one, I'm going to save as a new style, just like before, in the same location. We said that we were going to call this one Seams. And now because I have a name, I can just add in the second tool path into that style by again right clicking on it and choosing add to an existing style. The, sty the style that I want to add this cut path to is the seams and choose open. Now on my machining styles tab, I again have a new style called seams. This one contains, first of all, a roughing pass and then a finishing pass, 
whereas the first style we made, the wall scribe, only contains one tool, one cut path, which is a finish pass. At any time, I can change the order of the cuts within the style simply by highlighting one and then using the red arrow at the top of the screen to either move that one up or to move the selected one to the bottom. These changes will be saved upon closing my Alpha Cam session. Thank you for watching our web video, Creating a Style in AlphaCam.